I've been seeing this picture floating around on the internet. And I've been reading the comments. Comments from my people. My black people. Take me with you. Take me back. Get me out of here. You know, get on that ship if you want to. Get on that ship if you want to. They gonna turn your ass up. Soon you leave the earth, they gonna just start biting you. Soon you leave the earth, they gonna stop biting you. There ain't nothing you can do to stop. No, I thought we were family. No, we family. You a delicacy. They, they ain't gonna cook you. They ain't gonna season you. They ain't got time for all that. They ain't got time for all that. Soon, soon you leave. They biting. Soon you get up out of here. They gonna eat the fuck out. All right. Oh look, ten forty four. Man, hey, it's spiritual. <laughs> but uh. This is Proverbs chapter uh, 21, and I must read verse 16. It says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring and during the elements making your body a living sacrifice trying to seal the elect Making your call and election assured seeking out your own salvation as well as you sisters that are learning Listening applying being obedient to your husbands. Shalom. Shalom again. It's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another uh, Lesson, uh, I guess you could call this one a late night lesson, you know, um, I didn't get a chance to uh, I Didn't get a chance to do one a little earlier I actually took uh, Friday off, so I wanted because I had to take care of some personal business, you know, get get a couple of uh, things uh, in order, my place in order, and stuff like that. And uh, so, uh, you know, I was tied up with that. And uh, but you know, I, I knew through the spirit, I was like, you know, I'm gonna try to get a lesson out, you know, tonight, because uh, man, I got a lot of stuff that I need to cover. And, and like I said, it seems like every day, man, things are dropping. Uh, even if we're talking about some of the same subjects, you know, you could be like, man, you know, I just got done doing a lesson on, on this topic, you know, and then you go right back into it, you know, pulling out them, them same precepts and everything, but you know, with more information, because more information is, is just pouring out. Like I said, it's a lot of prophecy. A lot of things are unfolding and, and a lot of brothers are starting to believe, you know, through the spirit, man, that, you know, Hey, this can really be that year, man. Things can really pop off, you know, uh, you know, and we're hastening, you know what I'm saying, uh, for this, you know, for this place to, uh, to to come down, man. Because, you know, we're technically, we're still on it, we're in captivity, all right? But as you, you know, see, I brought out Proverbs 21 and 16, you know, you got people, you got uh, two-thirds of our people, they want to stay in this place, man. You know, you, with the mindset of wanting to stay in this place, you're in the congregation of the dead, man. You know, we you could apply this to the church, especially the the, the so-called black church. You know, because he was talking about black people, which we're not black. We're not black, man. We are we are the uh, we are the Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, we are the we are the Israelites. All right. Which uh, matter of fact, you know, speaking on that, I want to pull this up. I'm gonna try to zoom in. You know, and I was looking for this specific chart. Uh, but you know, I, I couldn't find one like this, you know, with the, with the quality, you know, there was one that looked like it was a little distorted and all that. Uh, but, um, you know, just showing you the chart. Okay. Judah, Negroes, you know, uh, the, uh, so-called African-Americans, you know, uh, Negro league and things like that. You know, those were clues when they was calling those, those things and saying all those that's clues to, uh, you know, you, uh, eventually coming back to who you are. As a people and we bring out all this information you know you got brothers that have done uh, diligent research you know elders our elders you know this is what we when we say double honors and stuff we're talking about the elders man that have done research and, and looked into these things you know you how about you shot pour that spirit out on, on men to, to, to look and research and see you know because it's out there you know, you got whistleblowers amongst these nations that are, that are exposing their people. And that's uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua putting that 
Egyptian against the Egyptian spirit out there on them. You know, so they're exposing. But, uh, you know, we're coming back to who we are. But you got people bucking up against it. You got people that wake up to knowing they Israel and still bucking up to, to the men that he has set up. You know, but I just wanted to show you this chart, man, you know, real quick, because, you know, uh, you're not you're not a color. You're not black, you know. Now, you know that you see the word black mentioned several times in the scriptures, but ultimately you have a, a, a heritage. You have a nation. You have a, a, a nationality, you know, and you are an Israelite. OK, so you got to come back to who you are. And that's why we bring this information out. But I just wanted to show you that. But, you know, this guy, you know, he don't believe, you know, his whole thing is he's thinking that, uh, you know, you if you get on the chariots, uh, you know, which, you know, he didn't just call them chariots. He was talking about UFOs, you know, but he's saying if you get on them, uh, those uh, aliens and stuff are going to uh, chop you up and kill you and do all kind of things to you. You know, this is what he's he's putting. He's trying to put fear in the minds of our people, you know, which we know that uh, this is how uh, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, is returning. This is how he's coming back. And he's coming back with the host of angels, which I got scriptures to, to back that up. But uh, this is Romans chapter 3 and verse 3, and it says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without a, uh, effect? Hey, you know? So uh, this is verse four. It says, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest ju uh, be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome uh, when thou art judged. OK, so, uh, you know, hey, the heavenly father is true, but every man a liar, you know, and see, and, and as far as us, we're speaking as the oracles of God. We're speaking as the oracles of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So. We, we're 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 speaking truth this is why brothers can can boldly stand and, and proclaim hey we got the truth and we speaking the truth because we speak uh as the oracles of god okay so that's why it says says that you know speaking um the truth man bringing out this uh this this wisdom and knowledge and understanding all right but a lot of our people they don't believe that's why they uh you know, they're going to be stuck in the congregation of the dead. You know, this is a good uh, parable here that I want to bring out. This is uh, Matthew uh, 24, uh, start at verse 38. And it says, for as in, in the days of Noah uh, that were before the flood, uh, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in, in marriage until the day uh, that Noah entered into the ark. OK, so this was how our people are. And our people are like this to this day. And you're seeing uh, an increase in marriage and everything, you know, um, and, and people are, uh, you know, having more and more children. And despite everything as high as hell, like inflation and stuff, it's crazy. Like, man, this uh, man, I, I don't see how people are having all these kids like that. And, you, you know, it's, it's getting hard to survive. You know, I got I'm going to do a lesson. I got information on, on how uh, right now people are struggling to pay their rent. But people are, but yet they still producing babies, man. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, you know? So, uh, you know, you're seeing a lot of that, but people are, are, are struggling, you know? You got people living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, I did a, a, a lesson where one woman was crying. She was crying, man, and talking about things. She was working like like two, three jobs, man. And, and, um, and still, uh, still can't make it, you know? And that's Babylon. It's, it's sor the sorrows, man. But again, verse 38, it says, For as in the days uh, that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day uh, that Noah entered into the ark. Okay, see that? Verse 39, And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. That took them all away. <laughs> hey, you got put to death. You know, they all drowned. Okay? Took them all away. So, so shall also... Uh, the coming uh, of the son of man be okay and this is Yahweh Shah when he returns you know who the world even calls Jesus Christ like I said how he's returning you know it's this is how it's going to be when he returns you know this guy he ain't got a care in the world he's probably out here just being a straight up two-third ne negro you know what I'm saying ignorant partying whatever doing you know breaking all the law statutes and commandments of Yahweh Shah you know he he He's probably going to get taken 
taking uh, by all this, man. You know, we, we're at war. You got people that are delusional, okay? But you got the men of Yahweh Shem Yahshua that are, are looking and seeing this stuff that's happening. We're report. We're giving a report. You know, we're being watchmen. We're telling our, warning our people, doing lessons to edify uh, the body, making our call on election sure, You know. But yet you got uh, guys like this. They 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 have their their phones and stuff, and they get a, 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 and create a. a you know, they get on these platforms, which these platforms are all set up to push push the truth, uh, this gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But instead, they do videos like what he did to come up against it, to deny the chariots, okay? So this is how Yahweh is going to return, you know, with seeing people eating and drinking and giving in marriage, okay? This is another uh, good precept uh, I wanted to bring out. This is Acts uh chapter one and uh, uh start at verse nine it says and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up um and a cloud received him out of their sight okay so uh pretty much yahweh shot was beamed up into one of those chariots because we know that when you go into the scriptures uh a lot of times you know uh it, when it's not saying chariot it was uh referring to the uh chariots as clouds you know because they can cloak themselves as clouds this is why Esau is constantly keeping his eyes up there into the heavens, you know, because a lot of times they can they can uh, come down, you know, there, uh, you know, there's so much footage and videos that that, that exposes, you know, uh, you know, what Esau tries to cover up the fact that the chariots have, have come down down here, you know, and he knows it. His people, they know it, you know. But this is uh, how Yahweh Shai, you know, after he was crucified and he rose back up, you know, from the dead, you know, they, they're seeing him being uh, received up in, into a cloud. All right. All right. Verse 10. And while they looked uh, steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. These are angels. OK. Showing you that angels come down. This is and, and this 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 ignorant Jake is sitting here trying to make the angels out to be these uh oh man they're gonna kill you and everything which hey don't don't get it twisted the angels can get busy you know when if you're wicked and your how about you shot man uh see sees uh you know like the only option for you is, is is for you to be put to death he'll send them angels to do it man okay you know they can get down like that man look at uh the uh the incident with Sodom and Gomorrah when them um uh you know uh them sodomites see I was about to say the H word you know you gotta be careful uh when these those sodomites uh it was a gang of them a mob of them you know and they were trying to get get those angels you know them angels look good to them man hey and that's 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 wicked man uh, even though they didn't know they were angels but still you shouldn't even be uh conducting yourself in that matter you know you get put to death for that but uh the angels um, blinded them, you know, and that was that spiritual power, you know. Hey, Jake going to get power like that, you know. Imagine, um, you know, if you go and because, you know, we're going to have to uh, go and, and, and man, get these uh, nations together because there's going to be heathen out here. You know, we're not going to just be on this earth by ourselves. They're going to be heathen. The heathen are actually our inheritance, you know. That's why, like, you know, it, it's, it sounds crazy. You know, when you say this, it, you know, some Jakes might look at you crazy. But I, I always say this. I say, man, I feel some kind of way when Esau's doing stuff to these uh, other nations, these heathen and stuff. They'd be like, oh, I ain't crying for them. Nah, I ain't crying for them. But I feel some kind of way because I'm like, hey, that's our inheritance. You know what I'm saying? I be looking at Esau like, man, get your crusty hands off of uh, our inheritance. The heathen are our inheritance, man. But, uh. But yeah, man, you know, uh, okay, so it says, uh, which also said, ye men of uh, Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the way that they see him going up is the way he's returning, okay? So seeing the chariot, you know, him being taken up into that chariot, he's coming back that, that way, all right? So when them brothers uh, 
you know, brothers putting the artwork together and stuff like that. Just, you know, trying to uh, inspire our people, lift, uh, lift our people. You got actually, and it's crazy because you got, uh, you got Jake that ain't, that's not in this truth and don't know they Israelite shit, but they seen those images. And because uh, I seen it shared all throughout um, uh, that same image he was talking about. I seen it all throughout Facebook. And I know these people, they don't know they Israel and everything, but they on there, they've seen that image and they're like, yeah, yeah, hey, man, that, you know, our people, man, they, you know, they're going to they come to get us. They come to get us. We the original people, you know, we the people, you know, hey, but they uh, they need to know that they Israel, though, you know, you you are the Israelites. You're the biblical Israelites. You're of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, man. OK. You are a prestige people, man, a royal people, you know. Yeah, gods, you know, all of you are children of the most high, man. Come on now. You know, this is why we trying to wake our people up. But this is, you know, the way you see him go up is the way he's coming back. So this guy, this guy wants to scoff at that. He wants to spew out what he, what he believe, but you can't back it up with scriptures. You know, anything you say and you can't back it up with scriptures, man. Hey, you know, it's, it's, it's null and void, man. All right. This is Second Ezra so chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 3. And it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, which I got that word pulled up, of them trouble thee. Okay. That speak against thee. Okay. Speaking against the men of Yahweh Shai. Talking about, oh, man, these ain't, you know, these ain't the chariots and stuff. You know. So, you, you know, you, you bucking up against it. All right. Verse 4. It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So that's the end result. You're going to die, man, you know, and, and, and it's not us, you know, like, like we're going to put you to death for anything, but the heavenly father's going to, because you don't believe you're going to be full of shame. He might, he might very well just let you live to see the chariots show up and see our people go up and you're going to be sitting here being destroyed, uh, along with Esau Edom, who you hold known to so dearly. All right. This is the word incredulity. Okay. It says the state of being unwilling or unable to believe something okay see that and that's him lack of belief look unbelief uh disbelief doubt doubtfulness okay distrust questioning see skepticism see that hey hey you just you gonna die man you know, so that'll be the end result for that guy, man. All right. This is Psalm 68 and verse 17. It says the chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. So these these what well, we showing you, the chariots, those images and, and, and you know, that, that you claim are coming back to, uh, you know, being people up just to kill them. You know, get in there if you want to. You're going to get get put to death. No, if you don't get delivered in there, you're going to be put to death. If you're on the outside of that, looking, you're going to get put to death. But the Messiah is there, okay? And ain't the Christian church waiting on his return? They keep saying, well, you know, you know, according to them, they, you know, they say Jesus is coming back. Hey, but we know his name to be Yahweh Shai. You see what I'm saying? But, the, you know, so why in the world would you get beamed up in there just to get put to death? Come on, man. That's crazy. But see, you know, he ain't gonna, he might not come across this and all that, but this is to edify, edify you people, man, that are tuning in, you know? This is for you, you know, because you can easily see a video like that and you might start to think, you know, have a little doubt, you know, hey, I, I remember one of the uh, Equalizer movies, you know, I like, I like a lot of Denzel movies, but Denzel said something and he said, uh, you know, uh, he was telling the dude, get up. He was like, get up, son. Doubt kills, you know, doubt, doubting, you know, doubt kills. OK, so, you know, we're not studying that guy. All right. But this is Psalms 91 and verse nine. It says, because thou has made the Lord, which is my refuge. See that refuge, even the most high thy habitation. OK, verse 10, it says there. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy, thy, thy dwelling. Okay, and, and you know, there's an increase in, in these uh, so called pandemics and stuff, um, and diseases and things going out. Hey, Yahabashim Shah is going to protect us and keep us. You know, you're seeing people get sick all around you. I just saw something on our local news about uh, 
skunks. They're saying uh, these skunks, they have some type of like, uh, uh, it's, it's like rabies, but they're saying it's worse and it's deadly. So they're warning people to be careful. And we've been smelling them around here a lot. We, you know, uh, out here where I live at, the landlord, he got, uh, he got traps out here. Matter of fact, where I'm standing at, uh, there's like a trap uh, just maybe a feet or two uh, away from me, man. You know, a couple feet away. I can look and see the trap right now, you know. But because uh, the, the, there's a guy, he, uh, or there's two guys out here, they be throwing food out here trying to feed the birds and squirrels. But it brings other critters and stuff, man. You know, possums, raccoons, uh, you know, and uh, these skunks. And you start to smell them and stuff. But you got to be careful with them because they, uh, they're biting, you know. And uh, so they're talking about it on the news. That's a big story around here uh, locally, you know. So I, actually, I'm going to be posting that article on, on uh, my page, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, no plague is going to come nigh uh, again, you know, us, you know. And, and just to even go further with the skunk incident, there was a, uh, I was walking down to a local store. I decided, you know, I'm going to walk, get a little exercise. And I was walking, and it was dark like it is right now. And I walked past something, and it was in the grass, and it was sitting still, but it was like a, it was like a black ball. So I, I didn't think nothing of it. I thought somebody probably done threw some trash down or something. But I happened to be walking right past a skunk, and it was a young one. But it had its tail up, and it was looking, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he did he didn't spray me or nothing. And I mean, I'm literally like right here beside him, you know? And I'm like, whoa, you know, but that was your how about shooting me? I was shot protecting him, you know? And he just went back to going what he was doing. He's searching in the grass. He was looking for food, you know? Esau been messing around with this weather so much. They, Cause you know, they usually go in for winter, you know, but they've been out and about all winter. They've been out. So, you know, with him messing around with stuff, the seasons and stuff, cause he's doing all that Spraying in the skies and shit, fucking shit up. And, that, and how about you and Shah's gonna get him for that too, you know? Bible says destroy them which destroy off the earth, and that's what Esau's doing, all right? But verse 11, okay, it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So the angels, man, you talking about they gonna be doing all this stuff, man, which we know, like I said, they're gonna get busy, but they ain't gonna get busy with it, with uh, uh, all of us. They're gonna get busy with guys like you. They don't, they don't believe. You're not hearkening to the men of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You ain't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, and you trying to you trying to uh, sow uh, a seed of doubt in the in the minds of our people, while we're over here trying to, uh, you know, uh, bid them back to the marriage. But this is what the angels are here for, okay? Matter of fact, I got a. Uh, there's one more. Uh, one more scripture that comes to mind, and then I'll go ahead and end it. And Lord willing, this is edifying, okay? So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. All right, this is uh, this is part of the Apocrypha. So if you're new and you're tuning in, you don't have the Apocrypha, man, make sure you get it. You know, I brought out a verse earlier about the incredulity and stuff. That's in the Apocrypha. Make sure you have one. And if, uh, you know, if you can't get a hold of an Apocrypha, look up uh, Google uh, King James 1611 uh, edition, you know, Bible. You know, the 1611, you know, it has all the books in it, okay? So, uh, you know, they took those books out purposely because the Christian church, you know, they were going to lie, you know, pull out lies, you know, because that's all they know how to do is lie. And and that and those uh, passages were detrimental. Hell, I mean, there's stuff in the Bible that they kept that's still detrimental to their lies, but, you know, those really expose a lot. You know, you'll start questioning things, you know? So, uh they had it they pulled it out you know it explains how the uh you know the uh indigenous the, the indigenous people of america how they came about being here you know and all that which you know i believe through the spirit though you know those are my people i came here you know or my ancestors my forefathers you know were part of the, the you know one of those tribes okay but this is wisdom of solomon the fifth chapter and i'm gonna start at verse one it says then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such uh, of such as have afflicted him, okay, and made no account of his labors. And that's what this guy, he ain't making no account of our labors either, okay? Verse 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's going to be the look on his face. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Because, see, he don't, he, he don't, that's not how he thinks he's coming back. He think he's just going to appear you know, probably he, he's going to believe in their uh, Project Bluebeam uh, madness, 
you know, but he ain't gonna believe in the chariots. He talking about, uh, you know, th they're gonna kill you. They're gonna, they're gonna beam you up just to kill you, okay? Shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they looked for. See, they ain't looking for this, all right? Verse three, and they, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we, we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Okay, some of our people are going to be saying this. You know, of course, the Eden are going to say this, but a lot of our people are too that doubt. Verse four, we fools accounting his life madness. See, they think our life is madness and his end uh, to be without honor. Okay, how was he numbered among the children of God in his lot among the saints? Therefore, um, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Okay, so you see that? I mean, hell, Esau, even Esau was talking about, uh, you know, the angels and, and, and how, uh, you know, uh, they'll, uh, you know, they're, they're so-called black men, okay, you know, which we know they're melanated beings, okay, and they're going to be, uh, you know, working in our favor and, and um, sending food down here for us and everything, okay, Esau, this is some of the conversations that Esau has, meanwhile, Jake... <laughs> Jake want to uh, put doubt in the minds of our people. Okay? It's crazy. So, Lord willing, you found this lesson here edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And Shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, Shalom.